Now, there's been a fresh U.S. drone operation in Pakistan's volatile northwest. At least five people have been confirmed dead. Now, two missiles were fired at a compound in Maida Khail neighborhood in North Waziristan near the Afghan border. The death toll is expected to rise. Government has repeatedly condemned the attacks as a violation of Pakistan's sovereignty and territorial integrity. The United States carries out drone attacks in several Muslim countries, including Somalia, Yemen, and Afghanistan. Now, Washington says the attacks target militants, but facts on the ground show that mostly civilians fall victims to these attacks. We're now joined by Press TV correspondent Javed Rana out of Islamabad. Javed, uh, please give us an update on what you know. Uh, my information is that as many as seven people have been killed in the Takhail region of North Waziristan. The Takhail region of North Waziristan is very infamous uh, for the hideouts of the militants. Uh, there is a stronger possibility that the drone attack was, uh, tar uh, was targeting some of the residents or the compounds or, or maybe the training uh, camps of the militants. Uh, who are these militants, whether they are good or bad, because unfortunately in the past that has been the distinction. I cannot independently verify that. Even uh, the identity of those who might have been killed, that remains unclear. Uh, but generally, the, we use the term of militants uh, uh, to uh, give a broader picture that there are these, uh, these, these could be suspected militants. Uh, this area, like other parts of the tribal region, remains off limit to the journalist. Therefore, there is no independent information. Whatever we are hearing in the wire news and whatever information I have, uh, that is largely based on the intelligence conjecture and the first-hand information that comes from the uh, so-called intelligence sources, uh, which are not very, frankly, reliable in all such cases. And uh, Javed, how popular are these drone strikes with the people of Pakistan when time, ag time and again innocent women, children, and civilian men are killed by them? Well, uh, drone attacks have never been popular. Uh, right now, the situation is different in Pakistan. The people are uh, blazing with anger against Taliban. If Taliban are killed, uh, probably they would be happy. But the point is, how do we know the, that the militants have been killed? Uh, maybe after two weeks, we come to know the innocent children have been killed, women are, have been killed. Uh, women have been killed. So that means it is going to generate a new cycle of recruitment of so-called jihadis, and those would be used against killing uh, Pakistani innocent children, the civilian population, the security forces. The key reason behind the rise in terrorism in Pakistan is the, are the military operations and the drone attacks. Uh, they, nobody talks about it. These were the military operations, which ha also we should accept as a reality, uh, as a matter of fact, that in collateral damages, they killed innocent children. Now the, uh, the Taliban are making it a sort of a propaganda warfare. We are giving them justification to kill our children. Unfortunately, that should not happen. Even in, in one of the drone strikes, we should not forget, more than 88 uh, children were killed in, in a madrasa. So in this situation, the drone, in fact, have turned out to be counterproductive, something the government of Pakistan has been saying all the way. No situation is in Pakistan is different. People would not object to these drone strikes if Taliban are killed. This, uh, there is a big if. But again, where, where is the que uh, question of Pakistan's sovereignty? That Pakistan should also address. It is the duty of the government of Pakistan to kill Taliban militants, not, not the U.S. itself. Thank you, Javed. That was our Press TV's Javed Rana reporting out of Islamabad.